Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and it is June 1st! Guess what that means? Actually, I went online to Wikipedia to look up June 1st to see if there was any joke I could make about this day. This is a depressing day. There's a lot of wars happening on this day, and accidents, environments, bankruptcies, uh, uh, deaths, but not a whole lot of fun stuff to make a joke about. But what happened today was free marketplace content for Unreal Engine developers, so yay! If you're an Unreal Engine developer, things are getting better and better. Every month you get a bunch more free stuff, and this month is no exception. So what exactly are we seeing free from the marketplace this month? Now first off, a bit of an explanation of how this works. Basically, you have to buy, air quotes, buy the assets this month, uh, uh, in order to be able to keep them forever. Now you buy them by basically adding them to your cart and purchasing them for free. So, uh, but you do have to go through that step. If you do not go through that step during June of 2019, these will not be yours to keep forever. Um, so do, if you want these assets, get them this month. Now there are also a couple of assets that are free forever. We'll cover those ones at the end. And the question that always comes up, and as far as I know, the answer is yes. Can I use these outside of Unreal Engine? Yes. As long as it is not provided by Epic Games, the license basically should allow you to use these assets in whatever way you want. But obviously they are designed to work with um, Unreal Engine. A lot of times they're blueprints or uh, C++ code behind the scenes and so on. And they're pre-configured for use right in Unreal Engine. Okay, without further ado, let us jump in, take a look at what is in this pack. Uh, we'll go step by step and we'll do the free stuff at the end. So the first new thing, and this one, this one makes me laugh because the description is just so informative. We have the Advanced Mission and Notification System V3, described as, this is an advanced mission and notification system. Okay, so this one is 100% blueprint based. It seems like it is for uh, AI, for doing things like kill, kill groups, kill monsters, collect reach, uh, uses data tables. You don't need to uh, even go in the blueprints to create missions. So it's like a mission creator that's using data tables behind the scenes. It also has a dialogue system built in. It's one of those ones I should probably jump into uh, and play around with and see if I can learn a bit more. Also, by the way, if you see one here that you really want more information on, I can consider doing a like a hands-on review of it. Uh, let me know as soon as possible. I can try and get that out as timely as possible if I get the chance to do it and if I can make sense of it. So if one of these packs really piques your interest, do let me know in the comments down below. All right, next pack we have is the Brushify Environmental Shader Pack. Now, this one has actually got a much better description. This unique and powerful shader pack comes with a landscape auto material that lets you easily paint multiple biomes, shaders that add dynamic effects to your objects and everything uh, textured automatically in real time. By the way, I will link to all these pages. So if you want to come in here, you can get uh, more images of these things in action. You also get some details of what uh, is actually in it. Now, this one doesn't actually give the details that a lot of them do in the past. A lot of times I'll say, this has 62 textures textures and 48 models and so on. Uh, this one doesn't really say that, it just says that all textures are 2K or higher. Uh, there's three level of details and you've got um, for create snow, moss, wind erosion, slopes for cliffs and so on. So if you're creating landscapes, this is an automatic texturing brush basically. Next up, we have Path Follow. This one actually has an okay description too. Quickly author architectural walkthroughs in VR, camera sequences, third person camera moving on fixed path, uh, planet orbit paths, looping platforms, uh, flying planes, steering cars, on rail shooters, side opening doors, and much more. So basically that's what it is. It's a pathing system. Pretty straightforward and makes sense. Um, Technical details go into a lot more detail on the whole. A lot of times there are documentation lists, so you can also jump in as well. But you've got the ability to basically drop down splines, tell where you want things to look at. Uh, you can do it in Bluetooth, in Bluetooth, Bluetooth uh, Blueprint only and code projects. No need for any C++ code in your project. So pretty straightforward, basically setting um, splines in your role that are paths for things to follow. Uh, next up, we have Reactive Water. Reactive Water is a blueprint-driven actor that reacts to any movement of an actor uh, who actor who interacts with it by creating foam small waves and playing a sound at the location. So if you want to have uh, rippling around a surface, you can see, uh, here we go, good example. It uh, provides that kind of functionality. So if you're looking for a dynamic water system that actually responds to your actor stepping in it, this is the one for you. Uh, we can see here... Again, they don't have a whole lot of details of what the, the, the actual contents are here. It's a single blueprint. You see change the tiling materials, material surface, change the foam effects, ripple effects, opacity, water fog density, uh, fog height, and so on. Uh, pretty straightforward on the whole. You can see a demo of it in action right there. And next up, we have the Steampunk Props Pack. This one is a set of extremely versatile props to spice up any projects, including versatile blueprints with functional compass, spline pipes, and more. 
Uh, so you can see preview and tutorial links are available for you if you want to learn more. Uh, there's seven blueprints, including a compass, a gear, spline pipes, gauge, vacuum tubes, and more. And on top of that, all right, here we have a breakdown of the contents for a change. We have 113 meshes in this pack, uh, 2K and 1K textures, uh, collisions automatically generated. Uh, the vertex count is between 22 and 4 to uh, about close to 5K vertex per model, which is reasonable for real time. Uh, three LODs generated and optimized, multiple materials, material instances, 22 master materials and instances, 23 textures including diffuse roughness, opacity, and normal textures, and it works on all development platforms. Now, weirdly, they're saying target platforms are Windows, Mac, and Linux and not mobile, and they're actually sticking to that. So I don't know if that's actually the case or if that's uh, an omission, but uh, that would be weird because this is just, this one's straightforward. It's an asset pack. It's a bunch of stuff. I don't know why it wouldn't work on mobile, but uh, it wasn't listed there, so who knows? And then now I believe we are into the free stuff. Now, what this means is that this stuff is available for you forever. Um, so no race, no time. This will be in the marketplace as free for the rest of eternity or until... Um, uh, Unreal changes their mind, I suppose. So what we have here is a 4K materials wood flooring volume one. Guess what the next one is. Uh, then we've got uh, wood flooring containing 25 custom PBR or physically based rendering wood flooring materials with 4K textures, also ideal for ArchViz and VR. So basically, do you need flooring? Uh, we've got flooring. That's kind of the idea here. You've got a whole ton of um, controllable real world flooring, a lot of photo source from the real world, 25 materials, seamless, ultra sharp 4K, photo risk, PBR, easy to customize, uh, specifically tailored towards arch visual, arch architectural visualization, if that acronym is new to you. And you see here we get 27 materials, two master, 25 instances, 106 textures, all 4K, five types of wood, uh, uh, European oak, oak, bamboo, beech, and walnut. Five patterns for each from stripe, overlay, basket weave, herringbone, uh, versailles, seamless tiling. Um, and then next up we have, hey, I bet you couldn't guess this one, the 4K Materials Wood Flooring Volume 2. Uh, this one is kind of the exact same thing, to be honest, but it's a set of different woods. So this one has... Uh, strip overlay, basket weave, herringbone, Versailles, uh, Versailles, sorry, uh, seamless tiling, uh, it's a lot of the same, and the three types of wood are three types of oak, walnut, and beech. So you've got a lot of wood flooring now available to you thanks to these two packs. And we have the IES Light Profile Pack. Enhance your scenes with these custom light profiles and function materials. Uh, 50 IES profiles simulating a variety of lighting situations in 18 light function materials combined make a great addition to ArchViz scenes and game levels alike. Uh, down here, uh, I think we've already gone all that. Uh, simply place these in your scene and set the checkbox for IES intensity and these profiles will help you to build a dynamic and realistic looking environment in addition to the lighting profiles are the 18 function materials which simulate a variety of situations like windows, searchlights, and laser grids. So if you want some more advanced lighting in your world, uh, it is here. Now one thing to note is there seems to be no mobile testing here, desktop and VR platforms only, and they're even just showing windows only, but I think that's just because the developer, from the wording, the developer only has access to those particular platforms. Uh, but the information is a available here and your mileage may vary. So I'm not saying it won't work on mobile, it's just not listed as working on mobile. And you may be wondering what IES stands for and it's not coming to me right now, so just one second. Okay, and to answer the question, IES stands for Illuminating Engineering Society, which has defined a file format for describing the distribution of lights from a light source. Okay, there you go, now you know. And next up we have the last of the freeze. This is the modular sci-fi season one starter bundle, a discounted bundle for, okay, free. Uh, for getting started on sci-fi projects on Unreal Engine 4 includes the first five packs of the modular sci-fi series along with an exclusive environment showcasing how to utilize all packs in one scene. So basically it is five modular sci-fi packs all in one. And again, they're only showing it supported on Windows, which I think is probably not true. But you see, it's the kind of content and materials goes together to make these kind of scenes. And let's go down and see what the details are. So the module, the packs are hallways, interiors, props one, materials and decals or decals, uh, command center, uh, natural material, ice. And then we've got technical details of textures range from 64 by 64 to 4K. Um, custom collisions, try counts go between 8 and 37,000. That's that's a bit of a range. Uh, we have 283 messages in the pa meshes in the pack, uh, 44 materials, 559 material instances, 767 textures. So basically, it is a whole lot of sci-fi related content. And excuse me, and that brings us to the end of the list.
That is this month's free marketplace content. I will, of course, link a link to all of this. I will link to uh, the homepage that's got this. And a lot of these links are actually wrong. So I will link to each of the actual content posts as well. Uh, to grab this stuff, again, just go into your Unreal Engine marketplace. Uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Go to the Epic Game Launcher, go to the marketplace, add the item to your cart, check out, and it is then yours forever and available for use in a game. Now do, once again, remind or, or let, let me know if there's something here that you specifically want to see more in action. Um, this pack's pretty straightforward on the whole. Like again, we've got, uh, this one's a little confusing, the advanced mission and notification system. Uh, but then we've got Brushify, pretty straightforward. It's just a landscape and texture. Uh, path following, it's a, you know, it's, it's a new tool for your toolbox, but it's pretty straightforward. It's for, you know, camera pathing or, or uh, object pathing in the world. Uh, reactive water, it sounds really cool. I'd like to see it in action. I might play around with it, but this was basically for making dynamic water that responds to other actors in the scene. Uh, we got Steampunk Props Pack, which is literally just props to place in your world. And oh, but some of them are dynamic, so I guess there is that. Uh, we got two flooring packs. Those are both free forever. And then we have the lighting pack. And finally, the sci-fi series pack. So everything in this uh, asset pack is very straightforward in what it is, except for that first one. And I don't know how interested I am in it, but let me know if you guys are. If you guys are interested in it, I can jump in, take a look at it. Or if there's anything here you really want to see more of, I can do a follow-up video. Let me know. All right, that is this month's Unreal Engine assets. Some, I, I love this, actually. It's like having a little Christmas at the beginning of every month. But uh, has this swayed you towards becoming an Unreal Engine developer? Or is it starting to tempt you over to the Unreal side of things? Or uh, And the other thing I'm really curious about is, is there anyone out there that is working on the marketplace is this hurting your sales because it's got to be i have to imagine that this is cannibalizing into the people that are actually selling content on the marketplace because they're giving away so many of these things for free uh i you know who's going to go with the competing option when there's a free version out there i'd, I'd love to hear from you if you are creating on the asset marketplace and, and if this is getting to you or if it's actually helping sales it might be driving more interest or it might be that the influx of unreal engine developers is causing that the marketplace to be more valuable i'd be interested in hearing what uh, an actual asset seller's experiences are. All right, that's it for now. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.